Welcome to Peaceful Streaming. So, let's see, I'm going to continue on. We've done both. Ooh, but I think we've done both sides on the outside. Well, okay, so we haven't. Okay, so let's finish this side. So I started using this triple thing, which I should have started using before. It does have some issues. It works better when you have like the right angle. Ugh, don't tell me the dirt finder isn't showing up again. Ah, I just have to hop to another job and then go back to that one. And that's what that, is what worked last time. So let's see. Um, luckily, they load pretty quickly. Well, relatively quickly. Okay. Ah, still not working. Well, um, I guess we'll just have to do without it. That sucks. I don't know why that happens. And why sometimes you can get rid of it and sometimes you can't. Maybe it'll pop in on its own, hopefully. Um, so it seems like this triple prong one, what is this called? The three pronged nozzle. Oh, triple tip nozzle seems to work better when you do it at an angle. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think so. Step in the dryer, Mr. Thanks. If, if Barry shows up to the stream, tell him I'm sorry I have Uh, there it goes. It popped in. Okay, so maybe sometimes it just takes a while. I don't know why, but... It seems like in the past, the when you got a text from one of the, let's just call them characters in the story, um, that that could fix it. So I don't know. There may be something that fixes it. But yeah, this one seems to work better at an angle. I, I, as I said, I may have that wrong, but it just seemed like it was more effective that way. Um, it also has to do with the distance. So at least that's what it seems like. Let's, oh, wait a minute, do I have, oh, I have the long extension on because I was like working on the ceiling last time. Okay, so I'm just going to try this, see. So it's it's easier to use, but I think it's not as effective as the triple tip one. I think it probably just depends. Now, hmm, I wonder if I should use the... Um, I wonder if I should try using the... Whatchamacallit. Nah. The good thing is on this one, you can actually climb up the pyramid walls. So, yeah, it's really hard to tell if I'm... It might be just one of those six or one and a half dozen of another things where they both work equally, equally well. So...
try switching to the triple. But again, like I said, I mean, I think it works better. It's just that sometimes you have to go over with it over some places because of the space in between the um, prongs. So. But it's probably better than switching back and forth overall. And actually, if I do in two directions like that, then that probably takes care of everything. So like that way and then that way. So yeah, the reason I'm so gung-ho on trying to get this done is because the 31st, which I believe is Tuesday, they're releasing a Tomb Raider, uh, like free DLC. So, um, which should be fun. And um, yeah, so I want to be able to do that the first day. So I wanna get this done. And I wanna get this done anyway. But, um, yeah, I remember playing the first Tomb Raider with my ex-husband, or we couldn't play it together because it didn't have multiplayer, but we took turns playing it on, I guess, our Nintendo. I can't remember now. I think, did we have a Nintendo on NES? I do not remember. I think I'll have to look that up. Which seemed really cool. It, it did seem really cool, I remember. But, um, I'm terrible at uh, any kind of platformer, so I didn't do that well. Yeah, it's pretty effective in getting rid of every last bit. Rear octopus feature. Okay. I was thinking maybe I should use the cleaning stuff, but maybe I should save that just in case I'm either down to the wire or there's something particularly difficult. 
like some areas that are hard to get, then using the cleaning stuff can take care of a hard to reach area. Ah. I'm just gonna mute because my husband's calling.
Um, yeah, so my husband thought he saw these Korean corn dogs at Ranch 99. And so he's there now and he said that I asked them where the, I asked them if they had the Korean corn dogs and they didn't even know what corn dogs meant. So I was like, okay, well, then I guess they don't have them. <laughs> I was like, don't worry about it. They have we could actually make it ourselves, but it is a little bit of a pain. And I'm not really sure it's worth it. But you can make them with corn dogs with a um like when you do the the corn mixture, um, then you can mix in like those um, hot Cheetos into the flour and then do that. So they have them where I work or like outside where I work, but they're pretty expensive. So since my husband said he thought that um, he had seen them, then I was like, okay, well, because I know our son would love it. And I actually wouldn't mind trying it, although I'm not a huge fan of corn dogs, but it was worth a shot. Plus, he had to pick up some more ramen. They're pretty cool. There's others that I don't know. It looks kind of like they have cubed potato on the outside. I don't, I'm not sure. I have to look at a couple of YouTube videos. We do have an air fryer, but like I don't have a lot of experience with it. And let's face it, it's not that I'm not like making the most healthful food in the world. So, and I'm supposed to be improving my blood pressure and my cholesterol. So, not thinking that those are the things I want to be eating, I guess. I just wanted to try them if they were available. see I think I'm gonna put a long extension on I could just get the uh, whatchamacallit thing I probably should so that I'm eye level with it that might make sense see this stuff underneath some of the stuff underneath oh okay Um, okay. So is that, eh, I guess I'm not getting anything in between. So this whole thing is done. But what about, yeah, the niche isn't done. And I think well, I can try it from here. It's going to be tough to get that without climbing. Yeah, let's get the thing. Hey, Barry. Yes, uh, I'm doing this, and then I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to do House Flipper. So, and Lawrence wanted me to say he was sorry he hadn't been streaming. So, um, I told him I would tell you. Oops, I need to do that. just came out here um, to he was telling me about the laundry let's see um, oh there is some stuff there okay so I thought that was done weird how was your uh, practice I think I need to get even higher now, is that one done? No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. No, nope. need it even higher. I think this is done. What is not done? Oh, we're octopus wall ornament. But that's the one on that side. What about this one? Oh, this one isn't done either. Uh, 
I think I'm going to have to move the thing forward. Uh, wait a minute. And now at this, at this distance, I can't tell what needs to be done. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this thing. Maybe get above this. Thanks, Barry. I'll tell him. Um, good. Glad to hear it. I'm sure there are those days when it just, just like nothing works with practice, but I'm sure by this point you expect that sometimes that's going to happen. I'll do some, well, I'll do this front part. How, how am I doing? And eh, that's no, okay. So how how big a program is music in your school? good. Well, obviously that's the right place to be then. When I was in Boston, I lived close to, I think it was the Berkeley College of Music or Berkeley Conservatory Music or something. It was spelled different from the Berkeley I live there now, like it ended in EE. E. I think, maybe I'm thinking somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure. Because I lived on Newberry Street, and I think it was near the top of the street, and I think it was on the street that created a T with the top of my of Newbury Street. Um, like I said, I'm yeah, I mean I'm I'm kind of I mean this is like 100% by memory. So I might be wrong, but I remember so when I went uh when I, you know, walked to school from the apartment, then I took that way sometimes. Not a lot cuz I actually didn't like that way. It like I think it took you 
to um, or I think that that walk took you then is that still dirt no to a like area where you were looking over the highway and it's just it, like I didn't really like that it wasn't really attractive so um it wasn't the way I usually went but there was a Ben and Jerry's near there so that was actually a reason to go at least in the warmer weather And I feel like when we went to Boston in 20, was it 2019? Mm, maybe it was 2018, December 2018. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, because we actually left on Lawrence's birthday, which is December 5th, and he turned 16. So, yeah, so that was December 2018. I feel like we walked by there. So... Because I was asked to, I had been asked a couple years before to come to Chicago as part of this panel of depression bloggers to um, give our opinion to a, pharma a pharmaceutical company that was developing a um, depression drug. And so they asked us back um, two years later, but to Boston instead of Chicago. I was like, why did it have to be Boston in December? It was freezing. When we went to Chicago, it was in October, so it was uh, it was very nice. But um, yeah, it was like 20 degrees, and it like I hadn't been in 20 degree weather in so long. It was it was extremely painful. <laughs> like. Very painful. Rear entrance pillar. Okay, I'm not even close to getting that one done. Where's the dirt? Oh, okay. So. Okay, so that one's done. What about this one? This one, not quite. So uh, my goal was to do this entrance way and then move on to another outside section. That's weird. I thought I had done that. Huh. So part of it was done. Was my favorite college experience? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, I mean, probably overall, a lot of it was just exploring Boston and getting to know Boston because it was pretty cool. Um, and um, I mean, I was like really back and forth. Like when I first got there, I partied a lot. I dated, you know, um, like very, very casually a bunch of different guys. Then I met um, I met a boyfriend freshman year and got serious. So it was like I had a lot of different experiences, um, and you know all of them were good. But Boston is also a really great livable city. So um, I also became a little sister in another boyfriend's fraternity. Um, so that was kind of cool. I never had brothers, so that was an interesting experience. So 
So I did a lot of different things, and then I worked at a, I did an internship at a TV station, um, in the newsroom. So that was really interesting because I minored in communications, and I wanted to be a news writer when I started the internship, and then, uh. Partly because women and also because writers were treated so poorly, I decided that that was not what I wanted to do. So it was really, really bad. Like women were just, um, I mean, you, you were hit on just like unmercifully. Um, so it just wasn't great. And, um, and the writers, even though they were the ones the writers and the reporters really did all the work. Like, you know, for the anchors just sitting there and talking, you know, come on. Um, but the people who were like the lowest on the totem pole were the writers, which was just like absolutely ridiculous. So, um, so then I was like, yeah, no, I don't think this is for me. I don't want to be treated like crap. Thanks very much. <laughs> So, but it was still interesting. It was my first uh, corporate work experience and I made a lot of mistakes. Well, not a lot of mistakes. I made some mistakes. And so then when I started working after I graduated, I had already made some of those mistakes. And so it was, that was a really valuable experience. I mean, I think the most valuable thing I learned in college was critical thinking, which, I mean, actually they could teach you in high school, but you're really, a lot of what you're taught in high school is still very much the, mem you know, memorizing stuff, regurgitating it, and there's much less discussion. So it's nice in college, you get the chance to have a discussion and um, hear other people's opinions and like, you know, form your own opinions and through, through discussions. So it was pretty valuable. But I mean, again, it depends what kind of high school you go to. Like in some cases, maybe, you know, so for some people, they went to a high school that was a little more advanced and, you know, they, they already had that opportunity. So, ooh, ooh, what's in the way? Huh, okay, I'll finish this, or at least part of this, actually there. I think Lawrence is gonna, said he do multiplayer no, I mean, he was, that's what he was, I was going to say on tomorrow, but that he was talking about it doing his sheets, which he actually decided to do today. I wonder if he's going to do multiplayer with me on this. Possibly not. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a little of this floor and see what was going on with it. That's interesting. Ooh. I do like the lights. So if I'm trying, if I'm remembering this storyline, I believe this is supposed to, I'm not it's been so long. I believe it's supposed to be either an alien, either something that some extraterrestrials left behind, or Atlantis, or something like that. I cannot remember now. But the last job, I think, was like in the desert and you uncovered a, an extraterrestrial ship. Terrestrial, something that looked like an extraterrestrial ship. 
So. So now I want to see if I can get this. So there's stuff, there's all sorts of lights in the floor. That's pretty cool. So this will look cool when it's done eventually. Where are the lights? Lights here? Nope. Okay. Um, so let's do extra long extension. Ah, wow, that's really far away. So how am I supposed to reach that without falling into the hole? I guess do the area closest. Maybe not use this. I have no idea. Just do the area closest to me. It's still not working great. I must have switched to... Ah, it doesn't work that well either. Yeah, the triple, the triple tip one still works the best. Um, wow, I have no idea how we're supposed to get up there. I, I guess we're just supposed to keep cleaning from here. That's kind of annoying. I guess that'll be one of the hardest parts, hopefully. Wow, that is really far away. I don't suppose by any chance there is a <laughs> longer extension. Okay, I have the most powerful one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. I was just hoping maybe there is something. I did finish the re research edition, um, or I unlocked um, all the stuff on the research edition, which means that when they come out, I'll have, ooh, what's that? Um, I'll have some uh, unique uh, skins and I think a uniform too. So I unlocked up but unlocked them but they're not out yet. That one really looks bright, but it's is there a light there? It looks brighter than the one over there. Actually it doesn't look exactly like the one over there. It looks a little different. No, it does it is the same, but it's just brighter. Okay. How am I supposed to clean this? It's gonna be painstaking. Not really what I was hoping to run across. Uh, 
Okay, I think that's as much as I'm going to do with that right now. Please don't tell me this is a gnome, please. I'm begging. No. Well, at least it doesn't seem to be. Let's see what these things look like. Oh, I already did one. Okay. No excuse then. No more delaying. I'm going to go back outside and do the more boring stuff. Okay, so I think I did all that stuff. Oh. Okay, so do we have... Do I... Did I literally only finish... Entirely finish one side? Please don't tell me that. Did I really? No, I finished the other side, right? The one I'm coming around to. Please tell me I did. Yes. Okay, so I did finish two sides. <sighs> Thank goodness. But I'm still only 38%. Oh, because there's so much stuff inside. Yep. Um, I have to say the lighting is making this a little hard, but you know what? The shadow cast from the whatchamacallit from the uh, what's that thing <laughs> the scaffolding that actually really helps so I think I will move that as needed because the problem is when you get to this really light background it's hard to see the dirt or what you're doing move this it's, I think it's I think it's easier maybe I'm just kidding myself I guess it's the same I guess the shadow helps a little but I'm not sure if it's enough to actually move the thing Palace Pyramid Wall. Okay, so that's all one piece, supposedly, but... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, I don't know how it works. You have to wait a while first to for a cleaner to appear back in the shop. But I don't know what it's based on. Like, it's probably not based on you just being in the game. I don't think. I mean, I assume it's 
not so it's not it's not just a clock of the outside world um, you definitely have to be in the game yes, the question is do you have to be doing anything in the game for that time to count because if you don't have to be doing anything then I will leave this game running <laughs> for the next couple days whenever I'm not doing anything else so that I can get more cleaning stuff let's just see I don't think any I don't think any has come up in the shop stone cleaner out of stock glass cleaner I have plenty of oh my god 20 and tons of wood cleaner and actually a lot of plastic cleaner I wonder if I wonder if I can use cleaner on the ceiling if it actually will because this is when it would be worth it definitely it always defaults to plastic hmm, that's interesting okay so extra long extension oh no wait a minute yes hmm it almost doesn't look like it's making any kind of difference. I think it is. But I wonder if I'm wasting it. It might just make sense to do it on the stuff it can reach. Whoa, okay, um, hmm. Well. Oh, that guy's, that guy's up again. There. Um, let's do the statue maybe. What? What is this? I guess I should have done that a while ago. I was just saving it. Now, is that stone? Yeah, of course it's stone. Yep. Rats. What was my favorite college class? Um... I took, I took a lot of literature courses, and one I think that was really interesting was um, women in literature. So that was really interesting, but of course I was an English lit major, so it was interesting. And another one I took, I had to take science courses, obviously, which I'm really not good at, but I took um, food chemistry, which to me it was like this is really the only thing that's going to interest me um and um i actually learned a lot wishy that statue is of you right ha 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 um harper shaw new number i guess harper shaw had to get a new phone because of the volcano how's it feel to be worshipped as a god by an ancient underwater civilization destroyed thousands of years before your birth. Oh, is this supposed to be like someone using a... I don't... It doesn't look like a... It doesn't look anything like, oh, like a, a power washer. I thought that's what the, they were referring to. Um, but so the, that was really interesting. We actually did do cooking. But I learned a lot about cooking and about chemistry. And then... I took a course in children's literature, which I really loved because I did want to be a librarian and a librarian in a children's room, you know, like the children's section. So um, that was really good. I really liked that a lot. I mean, college was really good because I was forced to take courses <laughs> that I normally wouldn't have taken. I mean, the same thing happened in high school, but the quality of the courses was much better in college. So, um, I mean, except for like math, which I was just like gritted my teeth and got through. I must have had to take another science course, but I'm completely drawing a blank on what it might've been. I'm sure I didn't take one science course. I'm sure I did take at least a couple. I've blocked it out. <laughs> I do not remember. Oh, I took psychology, but I actually failed that. So, because I never showed up to class. But I feel like I had a legitimate reason. The second class, 
that or the second yeah the second class we had like the first one was okay this is what we're going to be going over she talked about esp and i was like what this isn't even in the manual why are we talking about it like literally for the whole class and i'm not exaggerating like there was there was there was like it was a psychology class and we had done reading and she was talking about esp so it was very strange so i think i yeah i failed that one that's why i when i was talking maybe before about the academic probation that's what it, where that came from well this statue is just kind of a disappointment it's it's kind of hard to see i really wish they would have included the ladders that would have been nice but no ladders, just um, just the scaffolding. And the peach color is a little off. So I'm only at 41%. I hope I can persuade Lawrence to do a multiplier one with me tomorrow. Because... He won't have, I don't think he'll have this triple prong tool. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess that would be interesting to find out. I do need, like I, I really need something to stand on to do this one. I suppose I could do it from the, ne the next floor. Yeah, let's do that. can't go in this way um yeah so we'll go in this way okay okay so oh yeah there's a lot there oh wow the whole base the whole pedestal thing okay looks like if you break it down into parts Status symbol? Statue? What did it say? Statue symbol. Okay, not status symbol. Um, statue's almost done. Trident. Oh, okay. No wonder it wasn't done. Oh, the yelling is Lawrence, by the way. What's the story behind the game? Um... So it was kind of weird. It um, it had like like one storyline about the mayor being like kind of corrupt and everything, but it had this other storyline where there were like mysterious. They talked about the volcano a lot, and that there were kind of mysterious rumblings and stuff like that, and um, and also the mayor's cat, and then like. Uh, I forget how many jobs ago, like, I don't know, maybe four or five jobs ago. No, three or mm, I can't remember now. Um, you cleaned off this big statue in the desert. And I think it was just, a, it was the torso. So like half of it was still buried and was pointing. Um, I wonder if I'm mixing up two different jobs but it was pointing in this direction and all of a sudden all the cats in town started like you were in the desert doing this job and all the cats there was a continuous line of cats walking in, all in the same direction and then you get to the next job and it's like um, a fishing boat on you know like at a wharf and all the cats are on the rocks 
at the beach just hanging out and stuff. And the one after that is a, pretty sure it was one after that, is a, um, uh, a spaceship, like an, an extraterrestrial ship. So, um, so then you finish it and it takes off and then you, you find out about this. But so this was like where the statue was pointing. So it's this, I guess, kind of like, you know, supposed to be Atlantis, um, a discovery of this, this palace. So it's, you know, it's a very, very loose story, but it definitely was fun. Um, it, it made it fun. And there were just some other funny things like you're doing a nursery school thing and you know, you get these, so you get like text messages and um, you know, from, from the clients and then also from these other people who give you jobs and stuff. And so you start getting these funny text messages when you're doing the nursery school, which is in a shoe, a big, like huge shoe. And I was like, at some point I was like, wait a minute, this is definitely a kid. This is not the nursery school director texting this because it was a kid saying I'm like I I peed and I'm like okay so this is not the nursery school director saying this to me so but it was it was funny like they had a good sense of humor like the one where the guy hired you to clean this public bathroom and uh you know like um and because they were going to turn it into a nightclub and they kept texting you messages about what how they were going to turn it into a nightclub. So it was definitely humorous. Um, it was it was just enough storyline, I guess, in a way. So anyway, I think I'm going to end there because I'm going to. This is okay. So this was in early access for a while. It actually came out of early access in I think August or September. So, but I think it was in early access for a year. And um, uh, so, but it's, I mean, it's a lot of, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this game. Um, and it's really, it's really calming, like I said. Um, it's, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just very chill, you know, and very satisfying actually. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, it's quarter of five. So I'm hoping that my husband gets home soon with some food for me <coughs> and then I'm going to have dinner and then I'll probably do, <coughs> excuse me, one house flipper stream. Um, it may, if, if he doesn't come home soon with food, then it probably won't be till after six. But, um, so yeah, my computer's saying sunset coming. Yep, it is. So yeah, um, Barry, so thanks so much for stopping by this one. I appreciate it. And everyone else who stopped by, I really, really appreciate that. And um, I hope you enjoyed it and you're doing well. And you're welcome, Barry. Thank you so much for coming by. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well and taking care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.